I am honestly sick about the new charges against IHOP founder Mike Bickle, published in today's Kansas City Star. It's a detailed, nauseating 14-page report. This is by far the worst evidence of Mike as a predator from a now 57-year-old mother, grandmother, using her real name, whom Mike, as a young minister, began romancing and sexing up when she was 14, the family babysitter. Mike exhibited a similar pattern with the very credible Jane Doe. There's another Jane Doe out there and perhaps many others in which he combined fatherly mentoring and favors with boyfriending women, some of whom were young enough to be his daughters. This is nothing short of incest, this weird special love he poured into young love, young lives. It's diabolical, far worse than just crossing sexual lines, but a masterwork of manipulation and control in which he would cut off sex and romance as he willed while still courting her as a kind of best friend, the apple of his eye. He engaged with this particular woman the whole time, for over 43 years, even conferring with her two months ago before he went public with a watered-down confession of sin. Yeah, that's sexual abuse, but it's much worse. It's a demonic abuse of power, psychologically, emotionally, spiritually. My hunch, Mike barely gets this at all. And all this from someone who became a catalyst for a prophetic prayer movement founded on a biblical commitment to holiness. Mike is predatory. I do not use that language lightly. I have not used it before. He has sown something rotten into the foundation of IHOP KC. He's as tenacious as they come, so his gift undoubtedly keeps on giving. He still controls the narrative for loyalists who just can't believe such a keen and generous teacher could also be so cunning and diabolically compartmentalized. I grieve for all the young adults, including two of my own children, who came to IHOP to sacrifice all for a prayerful community only to discover that the head guy had the arrogance to use his power to create an alternative community where he could partake of young, choice women. I'm so sorry. Your gift goes on. Lament and grieve. Please seek the grace of Jesus Christ to go deeper than just getting stuck in the betrayal. You have to go through that betrayal and live in that as long as you need. But you've got to come through it for Jesus' sake, for the sake of people who need to know the gift of your redeemed suffering. Find the one who allows himself to be betrayed over and over again by the likes of a Mike Bickle. I'm also so sorry for our city. We came to KC because of IHOP. We left everything. I'm happy to be here. IHOP KC help make this place better. But I doubt if IHOP can now survive. I grieve over that. We suffer 
without a robust prayer furnace. But we suffer more from the rotten core still being exposed. Especially the young women just waking up, just finding their voices. I am proud of them, yet so sorry. For the mangling of their bodies and souls and spirits. I'm so sorry about this. It makes me sick. <laughs> 